Hi everyone and welcome to yet another session with us. Today we have Abhishek with us and we're going to know his story um, through his own words. So Abhishek, my first question to you is from MBA in supply chain management to becoming a data scientist. So what was that journey like and uh, um, what motivated you to get into the field of data science? Okay, so... Uh... First of all, uh, my background is, I mean, I'm a mechanical engineer. So I have passed out in 2019. And uh, if we see uh, all this, all these fields that I have, you know, worked in, uh, they are not very complementary to each other. Because uh, mechanical engineering is, uh, you know, uh, we cannot connect it directly with the data science. But uh, uh, after my mechanical engineering, I was uh, working in uh, one of the, you know, uh, Fortune 500 companies. And there, uh, uh, I can say indirectly, I handled a lot of data there. And uh, uh, my major responsibility uh, included uh, analysis of that data. And after uh, that job, I, you know, I found out that uh, I have that bend of mind that uh, I can uh, analyze the data well. So, uh, yeah, and after my uh, admission in MBA supply chain, so... Uh, then when I started to research, I found out that uh, majorly uh, supply chains uh, all over the world are using data science a lot because of uh, majorly for uh, forecasting reasons. So as I started, uh, you know, uh, researching about the topic, I got interested in that. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So um, I'm pretty sure that uh, you might have done your own um, research before actually you know, going for a course in data science. So how did yeah. you come across board Infinity? And uh, subsequently, what was your learning journey here like? Okay. So uh, one of my friends had suggested me this, uh, you know, this particular institute, uh, board Infinity. Uh, I was searching a lot, but when I went through the, uh, uh, we can say modules that are offered by board infinity i thought that it is uh, you know pretty all pretty much all inclusive uh, every i think every skill that a data scientist needs uh, uh, board infinity you know uh, strives to teach them all and uh, uh, so yeah so that was my main uh, you know uh, we can say motivation behind joining the data science course in board infinity Okay, and when you join, so um, how was that learning journey like? Uh, do you think mm -hmm. that, you know, the modules were, because our courses are majorly self-placed and then there are mm -hmm. the weekend classes. So do you think that was very uh, convenient for you as a learner? And uh, did you think that, you know, okay, whatever I am being taught, this is something that I can actually apply uh, as a working professional as well? Yeah. So actually, I'm a one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, session student. So I had uh, six months of uh, time uh, for all the modules. And uh, uh, I can say about the learning experience was very great. Uh, and uh, majorly because of the uh, you know teaching style of the coaches. And uh, mostly because uh, it is very flexible to uh, you know the learner's needs. Uh, so uh, it is not a, a we can a structured program that uh, the coach will just teach you uh, these much things and the module will get over. The coach will, uh, you know, uh, give you certain, uh, we can say, uh, case studies to uh, do it by yourself. Then there are capstone projects. So uh, even if uh, pressures are getting into this field, data science, data science field, uh, yet uh, they are getting some experience of, uh, experience in working with uh, data science projects. So uh, so I think that is a, a good thing in uh, the course. Okay. And you told us that, uh, you know, the, the coaches were also flexible with the timings. And um, that brings me to the coaches mm -hmm. part of Board Infinity. So we have a lot of industry experts. Our coaches are industry experts only. So they're working in the field where, you know, you eventually want to go into. So do you think that is really a plus point because um, they come with the industry experience and they know the nitty gritty of the work environment as well. Uh, yes, of course, because, uh, uh, you know, uh, whatever that we uh, learn about, uh, we can say progress or any of the skills, uh, it is not like that, that we will directly apply those skills in the uh, working environment. 
so it is very important that we have a proper coach or proper mentor for each skill so uh, uh, and uh, this was a this is a, a really a plus point for uh, you know for this course because uh, uh, while teaching you or while coaching you the coaches also tell uh, the learners that how uh, what are you going in the industry right now so for example in uh, uh, microsoft uh, excel or let's say in tableau so what is actually going on in the industry and how industries are using this uh, uh, particular software or for this particular skills of the employees uh, so uh, yeah that is one plus point mm-hmm. okay so the next question that i have for you is okay. what is your current job role and what all does it entail what okay so i have uh, just recently started as a, a financial operations analyst in grand thornton bangalore so uh, it uh, majorly focuses on uh, you know writing sql queries and uh, uh, you know preparing various reports so it is uh, basically on data extraction and uh, data visualization part uh, so yeah, i have just i have currently started i mean uh, recently started so okay yeah all right um so um this question is very subjective in nature um what all skills mm-hmm. do you think a data scientist should definitely have okay so uh so as a uh, we can say upcoming field uh, there are may, uh, i mean even if uh, uh, we try to learn all the skills there are uh, there is going to be some part of uh, you know learning that is going to be left because uh, this is a very vast uh, a field data science but uh, what i think uh, is important uh, for a successful career in data science is first of all uh, the learners need to have analytical bent of mind so after uh, watching the data the uh, there should be also a uh, curiousness that uh, how can i find the trends in this data and what those trends uh, indicators uh, then uh, uh, while working on uh, real life problems uh the data is pretty much big because whatever that we uh, you know uh, work on data sets uh, for our projects they are a very small data set uh, in real life the data sets are very big so uh, whenever that whenever we are thinking about how are we going to analyze this data set uh, there is certain process of thinking that we require so uh, it is important to have structured uh, thinking for analyze uh, analyzing so uh, and uh, about technical skills technical skills are just the tools uh, at the end the person who is using those tools should know that what he is doing so uh, just by you know learning excel and python and sql uh, is not going to uh, you know make it sure that you are going to have a successful career in data science right i think that answer could be really helpful for people who are actually trying to build a career in this field so um thank you for that um the next question that i have is related to learning during the course so during the course you might have participated in hackathons so how was your experience with that um and uh, was it was this your first hackathon so what was that experience like so uh the first uh, yeah it was my first hackathon and it was based on sql itself so uh i participated in the hackathon and uh, the uh, the queries that we had to uh, resolve in that hackathon were not like a very easy ones or the things that we learn in uh, uh you know in uh, courses or just by watching videos uh, you need to i i mean i really had to uh you know search for uh, various methods to get the answer uh though i didn't you know uh, score much but there were a lot of things that i got to learn because after hackathon uh, the uh, industry experts also explained that how uh, each of that query had to be written by industrial standards so uh, and i think uh, hackathon is uh, you know one of the we can say plus points in the whole course because it really shows you that when Uh, you are going to go for an interview what kind of uh, questions can you expect from the interview so uh, it is a it is a you know, we can say a big uh, uh, we can say a practice thing for interviews also okay so uh, you just talked about interviews uh, which uh, just uh, 
spike this curiosity so during your interview what kind of technical questions were you asked um that okay. you think one should definitely know the answer to yeah so uh, my current job role is uh, basically in uh, sql so my technical interview was uh, based on sql and uh, which is uh, data visualization software but the uh, majority of the focus was on sql and uh, uh, now we are talking about sql i just wanted to uh, make one th- one thing clear that if you are going to have a career in data science field sql language is the most you must have uh, the knowledge of sql because uh, almost every company is using it and uh, so uh, my technical questions were, uh, were actually t- technical means uh, there were no no fooling around so actual technical questions like normalization and uh, a difference between primary key and unique key and how can we use those uh, then uh, you know i had to share my screen and uh, my interviewer asked me to you know solve a particular problem so i had to write a query uh, on it and then uh, there were many abstract questions like how uh, how many functions in sql do you know and uh, uh, there is a, a i mean there tends to be a lot of confusion because uh, sql is a language but there are different uh, uh, database management platforms that the companies use so basically in uh, board uh, board infinity we use mysql but currently right now when uh, where i am working we use uh, uh, ms sql so there are some you know uh, we can say uh some uh what we can say there uh, there tends to be some uh, irregularities between these things okay. but uh, but majority of the things remain same uh but yeah technical round is pretty much technical for a data scientist right so um you cannot just you know uh, fake your way in to any organization uh, i mean uh, not at all they'll uh, they'll catch you in the, uh, when you answer your first question because they know how much you know about uh, the technologies that they are going to use so uh, yeah it is very difficult to fake or i'll say it is impossible to fake that you know this technology if you don't know right um and i guess that would be a lesson for everybody <laughs> that uh, yes. at least um, you know furnish your basics know your um, you know language uh, in a yeah. very detailed and structured manner um yes. so abhishek another question that i wanted to ask given that you transitioned mm-hmm. into this field uh, mm-hmm. do you think that the future of data science is a bright one uh actually predicting or uh, saying that it is a bright one would not be a uh, you know we cannot say uh, like that but uh, uh, from past decade uh, we can see data uh, we can see for industries data is the new oil because uh, using historical data they are uh, forecasting the things that how the things are going to go so uh, i mean uh, we won't be able to say that this field will be uh, will be on the run for uh, quite a long time but uh, it is sure that uh, data scientists are in need for the for this whole decade because you know we have a lot of data i mean industries have a lot of data to analyze and they do need people to analyze them and uh, uh, even if we are uh, using uh, a lot of computational power there is one factor uh, that we cannot uh, you know automate in those things so data scientists are going to be required in the future also right and i think that was a great answer um and could be helpful for anybody who's actually trying to get into this field so that brings me to my last question that i want to ask you it's that um, you have been on this journey you have made a transition so what advice would you like to give to people who are you know in that phase where they are deciding to go into the field but are currently confused so what advice would you like to give to them okay so uh, my advice would be uh, if uh, you are going to uh, i mean if you are planning to come in this field just because the pay is high or uh, you have a, a nice uh, work life balance if you are going to go for such things then uh, you will get job there is no issue in that but you won't be able to enjoy uh, what you are going to do but uh, if you really have a uh, we can say a knack of uh, you know finding some trends in data and loving the data loving to extract the information from the data uh, then this is a very good field and to come into this field uh, you know uh, uh, you can start early by uh, let's say 
you know watching small videos about uh, uh, programming languages uh, not the i i i'm not saying that whole uh, you know the course for python course for 6 months or uh, sql course for 6 months because uh, i think board infinity takes care of that but if you have uh, uh, what we can say a, we can say a basic idea about what skills that a data scientist uh, require then i think it will be easier for the people who are transitioning into the field okay and i think that was a great advice you can start small and then work your way up so uh, yeah. that is what i took from this and i'm pretty sure others will also you know take this into their stride before starting their learning journey so with that we come to the end of this session abhishek and i just want to thank you for joining us and taking out the time to actually yeah. talk to us so once again um, thank you so much yeah thank you uh, thanks for inviting me yeah my pleasure bye bye